Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, we got a bunch of new shooting updates. This is definitely going to be a video that you want to fully watch, man. Modded controllers are figuring things out, man. The 2K community is losing it over the gameplay and uh, skill-based matchmaking, man. But before we get into all of that, man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. We're going to keep you up to date with 2K25 so you can know all the sauce and the news so you don't waste your bread. Okay, so look, Spillboy tweets out, changing the release speed of your jump shot has different effects on your make percent now they they confirming this this i'm pretty sure it's always worked like this maybe like it opened up your green window i'm pretty sure i don't know but i think this might have been the first time like maybe a test was done on it but yeah if y'all watch my jump shot videos i always should tell you and show you how to tick your jump shots if you don't know how to shoot in this game look at my jump shot videos man you will see i always don't be having it max speed dog because i know the sauce the chalk says slower is a hundred percent better which again is just another way to penalize guards this is a fact and who are the guards the talented the people with thumbs he says i don't know why 2k is so anti-guard but they are now look there is a fake narrative out there that 2k just builds their game to cater to the youtubers and streamers this was true wouldn't be like it would be faster jump shots you see as i always tell you man they're catering to the negative win percent casual in all aspects of the game if they weren't the game would look completely different and this is a fact would not be slow and clunky wins the race but spellboy says you'd be surprised at the results i think now with him saying this it's making me think that faster <laughs> jump shots could have a higher make percent which doesn't make sense i mean i don't know maybe he's just baiting me but yeah who knows y'all let me know what y'all think it's gonna be look 2k lab did a test showing there is a hundred percent make percent green window it's back it's returned but wait there are stipulations let's see what spillboy's saying man we found a pure green window when fading in the 85 midi they're saying that gives you that pure green window it range with an 85 rating which means if you know okay. how to time your shot correctly you can hit just about all of your mm. shots in this scenario now looking at the chart mm. now look this doesn't mean everybody go make your build and make it 85 listen listen when you play the game you gradually build up your rate okay also say you got hot spots so or lethals right bring up your rating and also it's not counting the badges okay the badges can clearly take your ratings above 100 so that don't mean just go make all your builds with at least an 85 mini guys some of y'all y'all be losing it it's just letting you know but look 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 what he's saying this is crazy right only at 800 milliseconds do you get a pure green window right so if you hit it here 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 you will make it a little over 60% of the time or, you know, then, you know, if you too late, you make it like 60%. This is crazy. So you could time it right. Still miss. <laughs> Oh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. All right, you can see the pure green window I mentioned at 800 milliseconds, even without the badge, which just goes to show that- Mmm, without the badge. See, I told you so. Even if you got like a 70-something, you know, you know? Hey, here we go! Mmm, so they did a test. A shifty shooter, right? Gold, that gold looking like that sweet spot, man. Hall of Fame and Legend. Now let me know how y'all feel about this. Now, this is kind of weird, okay? Um pure green window size so it makes it four millis and five and eight eight hmm seconds wider than no bad interesting now this guy is upset with these tests are y'all seeing these tests if you're 10 to 20 milliseconds off you have a 60 percent less chance of making the shot what the <laughs> oh y'all let me know how y'all feel about it now look i made a clip about two-way tenacity but i was like trolling but it did kind of feel like when i use two-way tenacity on certain accounts that i be on that it's easier to make the shot or get the steal compared to last year but um yeah let me show y'all this clip well actually before the clip lamasa tweets this out today said it's kind of crazy joey said 15 plus to all attributes just like last year okay he worked with 2k lab somewhat i don't know if this is true or not i don't know if he trolling because last year i didn't feel nothing with two-way tenacity and i heard that with, like with a lot of people i mean if it was 15 plus to all attributes i would be able to notice it i ain't gonna hold you bro but um y'all let me know if y'all notice it this year but um so yeah here here's the clip i posted right so yeah here here's the clip i posted right and i said uh silver glove versus gold unpluckable right you know uh yeah young swan with the bump still look that two-way tenacity feel me passing swan passing swan 
By the way, y'all go watch my rec vid. If it's not funny to you, I hold you a hundred dollars. Uh, to way tenacity, damn. Hold them pluckable and then look, I fade. Cause you know it's supposed to boost your shot, right? You feel me? Look, did him again. <laughs> Damn. If he ain't fouled me, I oughta went down there and faded that hoe again. Let's do it again. Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> 2K Toots put out a test about the time and stability. You know, we've been asking about it since people have finally woken up and accepted that 2K moves your green window. People have been saying this for years. People said they were liars. When we told you about 2K23, the random speed ups, the random slowdowns, y'all said we were lying and we were crying. Yes, it was in them 2K. When we told y'all about 24, the random, but now y'all see, since it's more dramatic in, in this year, and you know, they admitted it, now y'all see what we were telling you, okay? I'll be like, I'm Coming down the court, I'm like, hey, I time it right. He's playing God on my shot. And then randomly moving my window, my green window, when I know the animation I should get, the timing I should get based off what I'm doing and my stamina, I got it down to a science. I am 2K God in the flesh. I know what's going on, right? But now y'all see, we weren't lying. And we weren't crying. We were telling you the gameplay was broken and that there are secret algorithms within the game to hold back the talented and bring up the bottom. Y'all just, y'all act like you just capping. We trying to tell you it's not good. Some people are just ignorant to it. So they just don't understand. Y'all should try to understand other people have some empathy in life. It affects you too. And you don't even know it. How would you feel if in real life you timed your shot perfectly, but God made you miss it because he doesn't want you to make too many shots because it's not fair to everyone else who isn't as talented as you. He is controlling your green window. He's also controlling their green window, but he's controlling your green window even more. Wouldn't you feel cheated? Wouldn't that make you feel away? But 2K Tuts, you know, he put this out saying it's time and stability. Basically, in this video, he's basically saying that if you got low stamina, your changing the speed of your jump shot would be way more dramatic if you have like a F type of grade compared to if you have like an A type grade. So I guess that's what time and stability do. Um, If it really doesn't it really matter i mean you really like know what you're doing like who's really taking like no stamina shots like that very often and then if you do do it you know that it's gonna be slower so it's like you know it's gonna be slower you could really make up for it i don't know but it's definitely not as important as height and speed and all that for me just playing y'all let me know how y'all feel about it now look tay tagged me in this okay this is double h almost a million subscribers okay now look i gotta play this for you right by the way y'all always tweet me tag me and stuff you want to be in the videos my boy just don't do no nonsense right now look and it's not just double h guys it's a lot of youtubers and streamers bro it would be a lot of casuals too but they they don't be streaming I, everyone's getting mad but look let's have a look see let's see what double h got it. like i'm a today damn i have a higher strength like i'm a video i have a higher strength than him <laughs> yeah Damn, he got a higher strength and still getting bullied. <laughs> Damn. I have a 97 interior right now. <laughs> Damn, and he got a 97 and he got the badge. Oh man, y'all finna make Double H lose it. 97 with takeover. <laughs> I have a takeover activated to help me guard the paint. Oh god. Oh man. This game <laughs> sucks. Damn. This game fing sucks, bro. Damn. Zach, are you finally gonna fix post scores, buddy? Hey, let's see, let's see what's going on. Look at him. This is pathetic. <laughs> People aren't shooting because they know they could just abuse this casual mechanic, man. Come on, dog. Come on, Zachary. Zach Timmerman. Look at him. Look at him. Open. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Yo, that whole said open. Eddie and take over. Eddie contested it. Isn't that crazy? You're a joke. Mike Wayne. Quit! Yo. It's crazy. Yeah. Can't, I can't play this game anymore, bro. Like I'm a hey, so this guy says, I don't care what anyone says, 25 old gen is a better game. Hey, gameplay wise, it low key probably is, bro. Like, cause this year, the gameplay is pretty bad on 
25 to me. I think it's a bottom four 2K gameplay wise. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. But this is definitely one of the years where old gen could have been better. It's usually never better because the, the newer gen, they usually have more defense. So I picked them over. But 23 was definitely a version where 23, like the old gen version was better than the, the new gen version. 24, I didn't even try out the old gen version. So I can't say. So Badge tweets out this chart, man, of this skill-based matchmaking feature. Now, if you read this chart, this is about skill-based matchmaking. Now, I think 2K might be the only game where skill-based matchmaking would be a W because it will spark the revolution. They will stop being on their knees, double twisting, trying to max out that glue hands bag, trying to get that perimeter D. 99. They will be forced to play people on their level. They'll have to start talking that real about this trash gameplay, right? With all other games, I'm against skill-based matchmaking, even though I'll be casual one. But if you look at this chart, it's actually showing that uh, the talented players actually are the only ones that see an increase. So a lot of people think that uh, the talented players, uh, they're the ones that don't like playing competition and all this and that. I mean, this is kind of saying opposite of that. Then I guess like the more left it is, the worse they are. But you know, you see a 1% drop, a 1.75% drop. It's not a lot of drop and I ain't gonna hold you. I think it's real detrimental to have skill-based matchmaking because you're like killing your loyal fans overall. And the people that really juice your game, putting a real bad taste in their mouth. Like real good people, they barely exist, man. I get it. So it's not really a big ish issue, man. I think they would just be too envious of clips and people's clout. Bro, there is not a lot of good people playing video games, bro. Usually most people are horrible. People always looking for an excuse. Like, bro, you're just not good. You're getting cooked by someone on your level, usually. And we know skill-based matchmaking is to give the casual a better experience. Playing longer means higher chance of spending money. Call of Duty posted a few months ago that majority of the players did not play as much once they faced tougher competition on average basically the only group that played more was the highest end you know so look y'all see the narrative that people trying to say that oh the comp players they just want to beat up on people some of these creators yeah but overall bro you can look the comp pro-am guys they want to just face comp non-stop that's all they do 12 15 hour days non-stop staying up till 4 a.m in the morning <laughs> There's something wrong with them spiritually. <laughs> and this is before money was in it, dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all had no idea back in the day, my boy. And in the stage, in the morning. They're in the stage in the morning before there was money in it, bro. Okay? Uh, a lot of most people at the stage, they don't even stream, bro. They're in the stage in the morning, nonstop. <laughs> Playing each other over and over again, bro. Over and the same people over and over again all year. So that narrative saying that, like, you know, like the best people in the game, they just want to beat that. No, the creators, some creators, and you know, some people, but look, here, here's one thing that people aren't saying. I would go as far as to say 85% plus multiplayer gamers want to beat down on bums. Me personally, I'm a rare person. I, I want to, you know, be at a somewhat disadvantage and I want to play the comp when it makes sense, right? Not just like when I first get the game, but I go on random wreck. Some people can't even stand to play random wreck. I enjoy being in the chaos. You feel me? But most players aren't like that. They want to beat down on people. And it's a fact. It's not just the creators that y'all are constantly hating and shaming. It's most people in general. That's what life. That's why people who play sports are so are such a minority in life. Okay. Some people, when they start working out, that's why people barely work out. Most people overall, I think over like 60% of America's like obese. People don't like resistance. They are lazy. They don't like it. People are weak. Okay. Any type of resistance, they quit in everything in life. So, you know, y'all be a little tough on them creators when you're really still the same. You know, like someone like me could say it, but he says when people say, comp players just want to play bums asking for its removal may be true for some the entire purpose is so the casual player in the algorithm's mind didn't get off the game hey okay? and look what i always tell you what i always tell you 2k or what i always tell you negative one percent casuals have ruined 2k it's not even that y'all are asking for certain things 2k thinks y'all would enjoy this more they everything they've done implemented is for the negative one percent casual and it's, it's backfired i mean they're gonna find out like later on in the future 
all these multiplayer games they're, they're gonna figure out but it, it's not it it's killing multiplayer gaming i ain't gonna hold you i mean it, it's pretty like in 2k i wanted to stay in 2k i wanted to be stricter i wanted to fix all the exploits because we need creators to speak out against the gameplay it's the only way because 25 is the beginning of a long road of trash gameplay skill-based matchmaking it's the key dog i'm hearing people saying this they last year playing 2k several creators like because when you gotta face someone on your skill over and over over again and you streaming hella hours you don't talk that real boy <laughs> it ain't just no you know just beating up and every every now and then playing some you know you you gonna talk that real yeah skill-based matchmaking definitely isn't going to leave um multiplayer games they're just they're lost right now bro times just in life you got to get hit in your mouth to evolve it, it makes you more addicted to the game like imagine you're just playing the game right you're just playing people on your level all this and that but then there's one guy that just <laughs> like whoa that's the real limits of what i could do oh he did that let me pick up on that and then it makes you more addicted to the game when it's just straight casual and bum stuff none of that you know it doesn't it's not just it just it destroys the game i'm telling you bro look here are the all the body mods that you unlock in uh 2k25 y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. got this gold it looked kind of cool it don't work for mascots that would have been a w field would work for mascots you got the silver surfer they got the bronze WRL. Um, you can now see all the courts. Kind of hard to see these, which is a L. It's hard to see these. 6'6 six, six with max wingspan, and he had five reds doing the M. Will Zach fix his game? Let's see. Damn, that's pathetic. Five reds? Look, you don't even have to think. That that's why when these people, right? He's probably not even that tall. That dude's my player. These people trying to say post score and all this and that, trying to talk about all skill, all this and that. Like he's just fading in people's mouth. You don't have to get open. You could just fade in someone's mouth and know your timing and you're good. You got max stamina, all this and that. You're not dribbling. You don't have to think. All you have to do, press L2, do your move. No matter what, you're going to shoot it. You don't even have to be scared because you could just make it in their mouth, dog. You feel me? Look at this. This is crazy. It's corny. He timing his jump. He only got to think, dog. I can understand if you in takeover somewhat, but just not in takeover. That is crazy, bro. Who y'all think will win this? I think easily Dream Team will win. They shut these boys down. I don't even think it'd be close, my boy. So who y'all think would win with 90s rules? And then who do y'all think will win with 2024 rules? Coaster says, I can't stand creators who defend 2K all because they want a logo. <laughs> <laughs> me too, man. Me too. They really acting like 25 is a 10 out of 10 coaster. They want that early access. You see how they dominated them trending charts? <laughs> Stop selling out and glazing for a 2K community invite. It's annoying. That's for sure going to lose followers for this, but it's the truth. Hey, man. A lot of people have unfollowed me. They've blocked me. I'm just talking about the damn video game. What's the problem? I'm telling the truth. Why you hating on me? Because I'm telling the truth. Coaster got another one for you, man. I literally hate this game. I swear it's my last 2K. I've heard this from other creators. I randomly go in the stream. I might be on Twitch maybe five minutes every few days right and this is just something i hear bro it's crazy clearly 2k gotta be doing something wrong man but look he said they remove 1v1 in theaters so i go to proving grounds and play nothing but post scores as a guard <laughs> then i fall out and get to post score and get banned for an hour like there's no way y'all think this game good and i've gotten people have personally messaged me play the post score they fall out that's corny. They got to take this banned stuff out the game. It doesn't help, bro. Makes your consumers very mad. They're going to put the game down one day and you're going to lose people, man. Look, by far the worst 2K they ever made. Hey, man, definitely up there. Look, 1v1 Theater was the only place I could somewhat put up with the game and they removed it. Damn. I only play one game mode with or without being annoyed. 2K, they got to tell you. He not the only one who feel like this. Don't think just because he, he a creator, a lot of people feel like this. I'm hearing a lot of people refunding the game because of the shooting and the gameplay, how slow it is. But apparently they're catering to casuals and them people be straight casual. Hey, hey, look, damn near viral. Been out for weeks and I still can't shoot. It's not funny anymore, people. Like, hey, if y'all if y'all don't think they, y'all don't think shooting's already gotten easier, you tripping. And they're gonna make it even easier throughout the year. People aren't gonna, oh, he learned the game. 
Nah, they gonna make it easier. You gonna see. Play about them casuals, boy. Look, then he says, I'm not rhythm shooting, man. I'm not buying a new controller every month due to stick and I'll die on that hill. How y'all feel about that, man? Now look, Deadlock done, uh, they turn cheaters into frogs. They detect them. 2K need to do this, bro. That'd be lit. Turning people into frogs when you detect them cheating. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I wonder how they detect them. Here go exacto with some facts, man. Hate when people self-identify as a casual on 2K. It's not something you can't assign yourself. You can't call yourself calm. Casual is someone who don't put the time and effort into something. King word, key word, time and effort. Most people on 2K who claim casual got more hours and money spent on the game than the tryhards. This is a <laughs> fact. Even be on the YouTube and all the streams, they still suck. They're just horrible, even with the time and effort. That's funny. A real casual, bro. He don't know nothing about nothing. Definitely not on no Reddit and on no Twitter crying. They've been playing every 2K. Been playing 2K for decades. Hella hours. Six plus hours every day. 30 hours a week. Still claiming casual though, hey. Anywho, y'all click on the video on the screen. Want to see my first rec random video, man. It's hilarious. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.